partnered by Times Influence. Education is the single most powerful pillar in the world which can transform any nation into a major economic powerhouse. A well-educated workforce is the key to a nation's prosperity. Education is an important building block for India and realizing the potential of the future workforce rests on the performance of the Indian education system. Schools play an instrumental part in delivering education to society but they face many challenges in preparing students to succeed in the 21st century. But there is a glimmer of hope as some educationists are incorporating their vision in the curriculum to enable student success. The time has come to recognize and celebrate the tireless efforts put in by those schools who are preparing students to succeed in the 21st century. To do so, University, India's largest career and alumni guidance platform for K-12 schools, conceptualized India's most rigorous school recognition initiative, Future 50 Schools Shaping Success, with Fortune India as the media partner. This year, it was a two-day mega conference and recognition in Mumbai. It was attended by more than 500 delegates from more than 300 schools and universities. Speakers like Bhavan Irani, Pralad Kakkar and other industry stalwarts and experts shared their unique perspective on education. Today we bring to you the highlights from this exclusive conference and recognition. Ladies and gentlemen, what an honour to welcome all of you to the second edition of Future 50 Schools Shaping Success. We are overwhelmed by the response to this initiative by Uni Variety with Fortune India magazine as media partner is an understatement. We would like to begin by thanking our media partner Fortune India for believing in this initiative and being true partners throughout the process. Without any further ado, I invite Mr. Jaydeep Gupta, CEO and founder of Uni Variety, to please say a few words. The Future 50 Schools Shaping Success Conference is a combination of two landmark events in the Indian education industry that have been running for the last several years. Number one was the University Guidance Conference, the UGC, which um, last year saw its fifth edition and um, has been known for essentially sharing of knowledge and best practices across schools, across universities. And number two, the Future 50 Schools Certification, which started last year and received an overwhelming response from hundreds of schools across the country. This year, we wanted to combine these two events and focus on the joint benefits of the two activities. Um, I would like to specifically thank uh, Fortune India for being a very strong partner throughout the process and for believing in the long-term vision um, that uh, the event has and PwC for being the strong process advisor and partner and bringing in that rigor which otherwise um, can be missing in, in, um, in an event of this uh, stature. Right? With that, I welcome all of you to the event and encourage you to interact with as many people as possible. Thank you. I now request Mr. Arun Singh, Business Head of Fortune India, to say a few words. I would like to start by welcoming you all to the fantastic second edition of Future 50 School Shaping Success. Fortune India, as media partner, is proud to be a part of this rigorous recognition initiative, a brainchild of Univariety, which is India's largest K-12 career guidance and alumni management system. This initiative has seen an enormous growth in the past two years. As many of you know, this is our maiden venture in the K-12 segment, and the team is thrilled to have seen an overwhelming participation and encouragement, and, and encouragement from schools from every corner of the country. I would like to take this opportunity to appreciate the hard work that has been put in by our esteemed jury members in making a comprehensive evaluation form. I would further like to add that having PwC on board with us as individual process advisors increases the sanctity of the entire initiative and evaluation process by tenfold. We look forward to growing with every educator who has been a part of Future 50 and who will join us in the years to come. Thank you.
Next in line was a panel discussion where some of the most influential names in the education sector discussed the vision and veracity behind India's most rigorous school recognition initiative, Future 50 Schools Shaping Success. What we wanted to do is um, to get an idea from all the jury members who have played a significant role in the evaluation process for them to talk about what is it that they found unique um, in the evaluation process and why should schools really look at participating in something like this um, and what their vision is of the future 50 school certification in the years to come. Would you like to start, Sumer? Schools should not look at just being awarded or recognized as the future 50. Much more important than this is the fact that there is going to be a very comprehensive audit report which is going to come to you and which is going to tell each school which are the areas where they are strong and which is the area where they are weak. And the emphasis, therefore, of this entire effort is to try and ensure that schools don't become just academic marks journeying institutions, but that they look at all aspects of what is being evaluated, what is being uh, looked at by the jury, by Pricewaterhouse, so that they expand into areas which will lead to a better education system and will be more beneficial to the students. So I think this process of your giving us information, us giving you feedback in a very measured way is more important than the, than the award ceremony itself. For me, the initiative uh, has uh, allowed schools or does allow schools to identify new frontiers uh, to explore um, and also to be honest enough to identify gaps uh, in the school uh, and where there can be improvement uh, moving from good uh, to excellence. And the Future 50 uh, Schools Initiative, to me, plays very much to that notion of continuous self-improvement. The parameters uh, explore and encapsulate what excellence in schools is all about. And so those schools that have chosen to participate, and I'm absolutely uh, delighted to hear uh, that from last year to this year, the participation rate uh, has accelerated considerably. Those schools that have decided to participate are obviously in themselves looking at self-improvement, looking at continuous identification of what excellence is all about. I think the other thing that's important to note from my perspective is, and as a first-year juror, I came into the process at the outset participating in meetings where the process itself was under scrutiny and investigation. So the initiative uh, of Fortune and Univariety, uh, they are brave enough to identify and understand that the process itself can always be improved. And that's a very good starting point for anything uh, in its embryonic stage. We are continuously improving and looking for things that we can add to this process so that it becomes more and more rigorous for schools. I also want to congratulate the schools who've put themselves out there, knowing fully well that there will be only a certain number of schools which will be awarded the certificate of recognition, which really goes to say that you really want to improve your own processes. You want to see what are the things that you can do, look at the parameters, and probably next year incorporate quite a few of those changes. So that's really good for you to put yourself out there uh, and participate in this process. As you also know that the Future 50 recognition event doesn't end at an event. It begins with filling up the form, getting the recognition, getting an audit report. There are also a lot of other initiatives that are there along with which Univariety is doing for the schools. There are some scholarships that are attached to Future 50 schools. There are digital knowledge sessions. So I would really encourage schools to participate in that and to really take advantage of this wonderful opportunity that you've got. i just like to add that when we envision something and we feel that we are moving on, then we need to find 
those areas where we can do better. The schools, when they submit their forms, it's a great learning for us to realize what kind and what journeys each one is taking. And I want to let you know that between last year and now, I met a gentleman from, I do not know which school, probably an awardee this year, whom I do not know, who said to me that having heard you all last year, we incorporated all of that and here we are winning an award. So I'm sure this feedback that you get actually matters. But more than anything else in all our educational institutions, the way we need to move forward, the way we need to understand what kind of stress the children grow through, what is our focus, marks, vis-a-vis -vis other parts of development that's happening to children, and in an era in which there is this kind of knowledge explosion, and in an era where the ambition is skyrocketing, the competition is so high, it's so very important for all of us to ground and look at all kinds of developmental aspects to which parents by themselves can never pay attention. Thank you. Among the many panel discussions at the conference on a range of issues facing Indian education, one of the most awaited panels was on Scale the School, what India's largest school chains are doing right. Top management of Ryan Group, Oak Ridge Group of Schools, Heritage Schools, Pudar Group of Schools, Sunbeam Schools and the Hyderabad Public Schools shared their insights and experiences on how Indian schools can expand their brands. Scaling up needs some kind of process. So what we do in our schools is um, we have two circuits, one inner circuit and one outer circuit. So inner circle is the thing every school has to do. This is my health, safety, whatever it may be, whatever it is. Every school, there is no flexibility in that inner circuit. Outer circle is the thing they can't do beyond that. So in between, every school can play. So if a parent were to go to Oak Ridge campus in Hyderabad versus, say, Bangalore, they would find commonality with the things in the inner circle. Yeah. Broadly, I would say 60% or two-thirds are uh, common. Yeah, that's and, what the uh, next question is going to be. One-third is about is... the right. uh, local leadership, the principal and all those things. It's all about the leader. Right. The brand carries expectation. It carries a responsibility, the weight of responsibility. So the name or the brand that has been set up in a metro city, now people expect exactly that kind of quality. And you are required to deliver that, otherwise your brand is not going to become the brand you expect it to. A lot of people, a lot of managements tend to focus on, you know, we'll go for these very fancy buildings, or we'll go for ergonomic furniture, or, you know, we'll have really nice infrastructure and technology. I'm sorry, that does not make up your school. What makes up your school is the people in it. I think the future 50 schools are really going to be more about how do you bring out the application of learning? In the 21st century, the world economy is not going to reward you for how much you know, right. but for what you can do with what you know. Not for the knowledge that you have, but for how you apply the knowledge that you have. We don't like people who warm their seats. So one of the processes for us is that making sure that each and every member is in classrooms, in our schools, every single day. One size does not fit all. And so we are in 18 different states. We could have a template of a building, a classroom, a set of processes, training modules, curricula, all of that. But we need to be sensitive and we need to be able to customize and give a individual, I would say, a personality to that particular school. What we might check on every month is even stuff uh, as mundane as student attendance uh, or teacher attendance. Those may seem like uh, ordinary things, but they're big indicators of the health of a particular school. The ethos is, uh, is loose control sure. and tight support. The key here is to uh, align with people who, are, who already have the vision for education, who are not looking at it as a business. So that's when we want to make partnerships with people who are already, you know, who have the clear mind, who don't, who, do, who are not looking at Excel, Excel spreadsheets when they're looking at, uh, you know, starting a school. Why do we have a Satya Narendra who was my classmate in school? And when, as soon as he took over office, people came and asked me, uh, well, he must have been a number one student in your school. I said, no. Satya was a very casual, 
a person just like all of us, and uh, he's doing exceptionally well for himself today. So that's what HPS is all about, you know, a holistic development of, of a child. And we believe in that, and we'd like to. Ramantapur is a 40-acre campus, and we are able to give in that to every child of our school. It's a terrific initiative because when you bring together uh, 50 principals of the top schools, you're bringing together force that can change not just this country, it can change the world. Because you have to first implant an idea into a child's head for him to turn around and go out and change the world. And if you put that idea into the heads, and who else than 50 principals of the 50 top schools? That's the first Ankur that will start a revolution. Future 50, um, it gave me, uh, as, a, as a school you know, director, it gave me a tremendous platform to rub shoulders with some of the who's and who's of the education fraternity. And um, you know, it gave me a fantastic opportunity to meet them and to exchange ideas. And uh, there's so much homework which I'm taking back with me. And it, that's, that's tremendously going to help me. Uh, going forward. Welcome back. You're watching the special coverage of Future 50 Schools Shaping Success 2018. Time has come to unveil the top 50 schools across India to acknowledge and honour them for exemplifying a strong vision and being trendsetters and innovators in education. Over 300 schools from 92 Indian cities participated and the winners were selected through a rigorous evaluation by the process reviewers PwC India and a formidable jury. We begin with the future 50 schools shaping success, national category recognition 2018. I invite on stage Ms. Helen Holt, Assistant Director, International Programs and Services at Michigan Technological University, Mr. Roderick Fraser, Jury Member, and Mr. Jaydeep Gupta, CEO, Univariety, to felicitate our first set of national schools listed as the Future 50 Schools Shaping Success. We start with the national category, Alwar Public Schools. City Montessori School, Gomti Nagar, Lucknow. Thank you, Ms. Hall, Mr. Fraser, and Mr. Gupta. I now request Mr. Anish Matthew, Marketing Manager, Zoho Corporation, Mr. Roderick Fraser, and Mr. Arun Singh to come up on stage and felicitate the next set of winners in the national category. Ryan International, Vasan Kunj, Delhi. Moving ahead, Sanskriti, the Gurukul, Guwahati. Thank you, Mr. Matthew, Mr. Fraser, and Mr. Singh for doing the felicitation. I now request Professor D.S. Rao, Vice Chancellor, Amity University, Ms. Priyamvada Taneja, and Mr. Jaydeep Gupta to do the next round of felicitations in the national category. St. M.R. Jaipuria School, Lucknow. <laughs> Next up, we have St. Kabir Public School, Chandigarh. Congratulations. With this, we come to an end of the national category schools. Thank you so much, Mr. Gupta and Ms. Taneja. I'd now like to invite on stage Ms. Kanchi Khanna, Director of Communications Outreach, Kriya University, Ms. Lata Vaidyanathan, Jury Member, and Mr. Arun Singh to felicitate our foundation schools listed as the Future 50 Schools Shaping Success. Suchitra Academy, Hyderabad. Next up, the Universal School, Ghatkopar, Mumbai. Thank you, Ms. Khanna, Ms. Swedanathan, and Mr. Singh for doing the felicitations. Thank you.
We start this segment with announcing the schools that made it to the Future 50 Schools Shaping Success International Curriculum category. I now request Professor D.S. Rao, Vice Chancellor, Amity University, Ms. Lata Vaidyanathan, and Mr. Arun Singh to come up on stage and felicitate the next set of winners in the international category. We have Inventure Academy, Bangalore. Moving on, Oak Ridge International School, Einstein Campus, Hyderabad. For the final set of top schools under the International Curriculum category, I'd like to call upon stage Mr. Rakesh Sridharan, Head Marketing and Admissions, Mahendra Ecol Central, and Dr. Sumer Singh and Mr. Jaydeep Gupta to do the felicitation. Pathways, Gurgaon. Next up, Podar International School, IB and CIE, Mumbai. <laughs> Strawberry Fields High School, Chandigarh. <laughs> Moving on, Vibgyor High, NIBM, Pune. Thank you, Mr. Sridharan, Dr. Singh, and Mr. Gupta for doing the felicitations. Moving towards the final category of the evening, I'd like to now invite on stage Dr. Patty Kroom, Director of International Admissions, Recruitment, and Student Success at Mich Michigan State University, Mr. Roderick Fraser, and Mr. Jadeep Gupta to felicitate the first set of schools under the residential curriculum category. GD Goenka World School, Sohana Road. Moving ahead, Kasiga School, Dehradun. Next up, Mayo College Girls School. Artists, congratulations. Next up, the Sindhya School, Gwalior. Thank you, Dr. Kroom, Mr. Fraser, and Mr. Gupta for doing the felicitations. I'd now like to call upon stage Dr. Sumer Singh and Mr. Arun Singh to felicitate the second set of residential schools. First up, Modern School, Barakamba Road, Delhi. Artists, congratulations. Next up, SAI International School. Sai International School, Bhubaneswar. Thank you, Dr. Singh and Mr. Singh, for doing the felicitations. I'd now like to call upon Ms. Beth Williams, Associate Director of Career Development Education, Michigan Technological University, Ms. Lata Vaidyanathan, and Mr. Jaydeep Gupta to recognize our final set of winners. Next up, Wilhelm Boys School, Dehradun. Okay, with that, we wrap up with tonight's felicitations. Thank you all. I think you should all give yourselves a huge round of applause for being a patient and a very spirited audience. Thank you so much. Future 50, the concept is about how schools are really focusing on innovative methodologies and pedagogies within their uh, classrooms, uh, helping children discover themselves and being future ready. So I think for us as an organization, that's what we want to do for our students, to make sure that they're future ready for the world that they're going into. Getting recognized in any kind of a forum, being seen as doing innovative work is great validation for the team and we've been working tirelessly for the last 15 years, bringing about reforms in uh, the processes of education, in curriculum, in pedagogy, in the kind of learning that we're imparting, uh, and uh, being associated with such forums, 
again uh, gives you the leverage to learn from others to to come together to explore ideas to uh, to experiment further and uh, and to expand your vision the two day conference ended on a high note that the indian higher education system needs to reinvent itself to respond to the emerging challenges of a rapidly changing knowledge economy Till then, through future 50 schools shaping success, we'll celebrate the tireless efforts made by premier schools in India to educate and empower their students and shape their future. Partner by Times Influence.